Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will guide you through how to prepare effectively for GitHub Copilot exam. Companies are rapidly adopting AI powered tool like GitHub Copilot to boost productivity and, and eliminate repeated coding tasks. This certificate has become a powerful way to validate your skill and stand out in today's fast changing technology landscape. I will cover the key topic you should focus, effectively preparation strategy, recommended material, exam format and what you can expect in the exam, my personal preparation tips for passing the exam in 2025 and by the end of this video you will have a clear roadmap for passing the exam and positioning yourself as a AI driven development developer. So let's discuss why you should attend the exam. As organization is rapidly adopting the AI tools like GitHub Copilot, learning this certificate will help you validate your expertise, gain official recognition, learn best practices, position yourself AI powered developer in the organization. Now understand what is the structure of the exam and what you can expect in the exam. The structure of exam is MCQ type. So you will expect 65 question with multiple choice. The GitHub Copilot exam divided into seven distinct domains. It's not just about the coding. The exam also cover administrative governance and operational aspect. You will receive question from all the domain. So be sure to be prepared for each area thoroughly. Okay, let's discuss now how effectively prepare for GitHub Copilot exam. I'll share the learning resources in my video description. Microsoft has created a dedicated learning path for the GitHub Copilot certification. It is split it into two parts and covered all the domains. If you will go to Microsoft Learning course, they have two modules, part one and part two. Part one is covered around two hours and part two covered around three hours. And uh, if you will go down, then you will see how to schedule the exam. There is the can see all the domain which we have just discussed in uh, how to schedule your exam you can go to schedule from here it will go now in the Pearson views okay that is also online protected exam and the cost you will see 99 USDs if you will go any of the one module like as I am going module one then you will see what is the what all the uh, there some module is there so I can say inside some sub module is there which is respected to the domain response BI with the GitHub Copilot, introduction of GitHub Copilot, then prompt engineering, then advanced use cases of features, environment setups, and management and customization you will get. In part two, you will get some more domains. So you can see developer use cases and how to write test cases. I can say develop unit test case using GitHub Copilot, GitHub Copilot Enterprise, GitHub Copilot Business how to use javascript how to use with python all that so after completing these two module of microsoft learning you can explore the so you can deep dive some of the sections so that you can uh, validate your learnings from here also github copilot practice uh, exam course it has it has six exam with 70 question each Try to attempt all the exam and review your wrong answers to strengthen your understanding. So that for same question you should not select the wrong answer again. Okay, this was for learning material. Now try to understand how to schedule for the exam. This exam has two options to attend. One you can go for online live protected or you can go for the center. I personally choose the option of online. online. It is smooth and convenient. You can attend from home. 
and and github copilot provided very uh, straightforward instruction how to schedule for the exam you can go to their site so if you will come here to their site this is github copilot site given and if you will see the down you have the option to schedule landing to the microsoft learning page and you will see test assessment and after that you will see the domain which we have covered then you will see how to schedule the exam and you will see select through the PSN. Previously it was PSI, now it's a PSN view. And the cost you will see. And one more thing you should note, if you want to reschedule your exam, you can uh, check, but you need to do that before 48 hour of your schedule day. Even though I'm using GitHub Copilot last one year, I was surprised by how much of the exam focused on administered settings governance policy licensing enterprise securities audit logs these are the area may many developer don't have deal with daily to daily so please make sure to go beyond just use using github copilot and learn how it's managed licensing and securing the data in a professional environment and you might expect question related to difference between the enterprise plan business plan and you might get the question related to audit logs. Okay, so now time to come to the close. I have passed my exam in June 2025 and I can definitely say it's an excellent investment for anyone serious about staying ahead in the DI driven development world. If you found this guide helpful, like, subscribe and share for more tech career tips and certification. Thank you so much.